So today we are going to learn how to add vector layer in QGIS. So you can simply just go to layer and add layer option, add a vector layer, a number of options, raster layer, mesh layer, etc. And simply you can also use a shortcut key, a shortcut keyboard key, control L. So the layer browser will be open, then you can select vector layer so you have to load shape file for this for example i am load i have only downloaded the shape file so which is consist of the shape file of pakistan its provinces districts i am loading the shape file of districts so this is park adm3 so just open and select add click add let's close it now you can see this shape file has been loaded according to its coordinates now this contains some information about different districts so which information it contains so we can see that by opening the attribute table right click on the layer in the layer, brow layer browser and just clicking the op open attribute table now you can you uh, it has the same number iso is park name zero pakistan id one it has same throughout almost there is name of the province then here is the name district we have some more information as well okay so you can so now i want to have the each district should have different colors so now uh, simply you can I'll just open the attribute table remember for every district the id3 is assigned specially designated and similarly the name 3 is also every uh, district has its own name so we can actually classify it by using any of these two so now go to properties right click on this go to properties or either double click on the to open the properties panel now you can go to this symbology and we can use the categorize symbol based on the now it will ask on which column of the attribute table i should have to, i should characterize it so use the either id3 or either name3 which one you want let's say go to name because it's only color categorization sorry so classify now apply it's close now every city has different color now every district sorry has now different color now if you want to label each and every city with its name since it is already present in the attribute table so just again go to properties go to labels uh, select single label now label with which column so I know it was ABC name 3 column in the attribute table so you can also change the font size font type tech everything so just apply press ok now if you check every city has now this the name has been designated to every city so it's quite easy now uh, in order to actually select us uh, district from this map and paste it as a new vector layer how we will do this so let's learn this you can simply use this selection tool this selection tool select feature and now let's say i want to set uh, this i want let's say this region top as a diff as a separate vector layer you can also select multiple by just pressing holding control tree uh, control key and just like this you can select multiple as well if you want to deselect just press shift and click the region that you want to deselect otherwise it will only select one okay. now you can go to edit copy feature or you can simply use the shortcut control c copy feature now again go to edit and use the option paste feature as let's say new vector new vector layer now it will be in the format of shape file you can give it any name let's say i go give it to the name of the city as well you can also use the coordinate system you can change it from pressing the globe icon you can assign its coordinate system but i am using by default 4326 wg so you can also resize it or using another option let's keep it by default press ok now now this is attack is now this region has placed 
as a separate layer now if i turn off this layer it will be only now selecting in the pane it's only the single layer. Now i can zoom right click on this zoom to layer now i have placed this layer as a separate vector layer now so that's about today video like and share